those beauties. I'm cheating now. With the rice? Why not? You cheated with the sauce earlier. I don't know, they actually smell like pancakes. Curry from a jar, microwaved rice, and a shop-bought flatbread. This could be interesting. Look, lads, this is a nice, civilised show. Can we just put gangster on old for a minute, yeah? I'm telling you now, puta. You better not fuck with my food, that shit. Mate, I can't control what she brings out, can I? You're French. I know you're French mafia and all that. You French know how to be civilised, surely? <laughs> Fisty put. Hmm. Maybe not. Look, Russian. For fuck's sake, don't start shooting people. I promise nothing. What about you then, Mr. Italian Mafia man? Can I count on you? I don't trust this bitch for one second, you know? Look, everybody calm the fuck down. She's a nice lady. She's cooking everything fresh. Please, don't shoot anyone. Oh, hi, Tina. Oh, that looks lovely. I think he's got an element of Alan Sugar about him. <laughs> no love like this. You want me to be honest with you? The sauce was great. Obviously, there's fragrance and a little bit of different taste. It reminded me of what my mama used to make me back in Sicily. Homemade, you know? The sauce I did actually have out of a jar again. Are you fucking kidding me? Did she just say she got the shit out of a jar? <laughs> English pig. You try to give me this in my country, we kill you. Escucha me, puta. Tomorrow, if I can't stop this shit, I come back and I kill your whole fucking family, entiendes? Where the fuck did that come from? Put that shit away. Sorry, Tina. And I know that I shouldn't be using it for... I keep saying about my leg, but... Tina, honestly, it's fine. Obviously, being on your leg for that length of time... Señorita, I can suit your leg out for you right now, eh? This fucking broad, are you not gonna cook fresh on come time with me? I just felt they were not up to scratch. I should let Paulie take care of this bitch. No, no, no. There's no need for that, Mr. Italian Mafia man. You want me kill her? Mate, why are you trying to kill everything? With all due respect, mate, just eat your fucking curry. Frenchman, help me out and say something. I agree with Russian. Hmm. Look, Tina, at least tell him you made the dessert fresh, right? From scratch today, made my own flatbreads. Did you? However... Oh, fuck's sake, Tina. And I'd rather serve you something that was edible. You know what, boy? She's all yours. Fuck this show, I'm off. So London is back, everything is back open and the streets are thriving. Some would say we're lucky, but I would say only if you're not from Leicester. Unfortunately, while cases in most parts of the country have fallen since the peak, in Leicester they've continued to rise. It'd be nice to get back some humility the government have relinquished from us. You know we follow suit with the old Yanks, don't we? So you know we'll be pulling down some more slave leader statues again soon, don't you? A lot of people flourished during this lockdown, but a lot of others probably just dwelled in their own shit and piss and bitched about other people that did put the work in while you sit there and wank over Love Island. We are independent! We are independent! Yeah, hope you're all happy now. But that's another story altogether. I reckon Barry's gonna bottle the heavy D fight. He hasn't even run anywhere yet. And I know you know that I know you or cut down on them rubies. But what he has done is cut down from 20 fags to 10. I've not seen my willy in two years! Hopefully, I'll be ready for beginning of August. I haven't really started any training or anything yet, but, um... I can't stop eating! I've quit the fags. He's as bad as the boxer I work for. He don't train either. I reckon I'll probably get in there and have a go with every day before Barry does. Probably gonna look something like this. Let's go back. You don't even want to go over to the bar. Spuddy boys off down Portsmouth to lay on a different sofa in a different county, but playing the same fucking bingo app. We're going. Are we off to Shelly Hayley in Ireland? Yeah. Yeah, man. What, you got a bird down there or something? Three. Have you? Yeah, I've got no problems I'll run, man. You fucking dog. But I do miss the old dog, strangely enough. Now the shops are back open, I can finally get Rick's reviews back up and running. And the first place I'm going for is a crap back in sack wax. Because the air down there is out of control, mate. And this bird is so horny, the first place she wants to go for some reason is me fucking arsehole. 
Romo, the cameraman, still can't swim, but he has bought himself a life jacket now, though, and a construction helmet, so he should be all right. But what I've got planned for him next week... Now I can swim now. I can't swim, you know what I am? Richie just sent me a rough mix of my new track, Self Destructive Man, and it is sounding fire. I can't wait for the whole world to hear it. It's been a while since I've been on this bad boy. Gotta love the guitar.